On our coast, we are on storm watch. Vanessa Murdoch is back with another look at our wintry weather. Boy, today, another brutally cold day, and now we're really bracing for what could be a significant storm. Yeah, absolutely. And you saw the waves crashing along the West Coast. Well, with this storm system, surf will be a very challenging issue as well. Coastal flooding, too. So we have a lot to contend with. Tonight, it is the cold. Moving into tomorrow, it is a winter storm. It is mostly clear right now, 13 feeling like two below. As we look at your forecast when you wake up, it's 12 degrees, feeling like zero to five for most of us, but there certainly will be some sub-zero wind chills. Sunrise is at 717 through the day. The clouds thicken. We warm to 35 degrees. And tomorrow evening, as we approach 7 p.m., rain and snow moves in. All courtesy of this storm system right here, it will be making its way through the south, causing major problems, and then making a sharp turn in the northeasterly direction, heading here toward us. As we look at your winter weather alerts, these go into effect tomorrow evening. We have a winter weather advisory in the purple. We expect lesser snowfall totals here before a likely transition to rain. And then for Sullivan portions of Ulster County, you're in the blue. You're under a winter storm watch. This is where we expect even bigger snowfall totals. And you will see a little bit of rain, but you'll likely still have snow on the ground when all is said and done. Now, in addition to the wintry weather, we'll see plenty of rain and all also, powerful winds. This storm will strengthen as it makes its way closer to us. As a result, we have wind advisory in effect. Also, a high wind watch for the east end. Winds are going to gust 45 to 55 miles per hour plus, and that wind will push water onto land. So, yes, we are expecting coastal flooding Monday during times of high tide with one to three feet of inundation. This is anywhere from minor to major coastal flooding with this system. Something to be very mindful of as we make our way into the day Monday. As we go through the overnight hours and into tomorrow, we're going to watch this storm system get closer to us. In the pain Pink, that's freezing rain. Exceptional ice accumulations are possible through portions of the Carolinas into Virginia. For us, though, this is a rain and snow messy mix event. 7 p.m., it's snow to the north and west of the city, rain south and east. And notice how warm air just pushes in, forcing the snow to continue trekking to the north. And as we roll into Monday morning, for all of us, it's essentially wrapping up as rain, very heavy at times, with incredibly powerful winds as well. By Monday afternoon, we're essentially drying out. There'll be lingering snow showers passing by, but it'll be high winds and soggy. This is a look at snowfall totals before the transition. Mainly rain south and east of the city. Maybe a trace to one close to the city. And then you see as we make our way north and west, we see these bigger numbers. This is the best bet to hold on to snow as this system makes its way to the north. And of course, the winds will be ramping up through the overnight hours, Sunday into Monday, with those crazy wind gusts possible early Monday morning. As we make our way past the storm, it's 42 degrees from Martin Luther King Jr. Day with the storm exiting. 34 breezy on Tuesday, then maybe a late chance for some snow Wednesday into Thursday. Jessica, back to you. All right. Keeping you busy over there, Vanessa. Thank you.